Summer is fair time. Both state and local fairs are going on right now. That means lots and lots of animals. In order to keep yourself and your kids safe from possible transmission of diseases like salmonella, E. coli, and others, there are steps that you can take. Dr. Douglas Kratt is the president of the American Veterinary Medical Association, and he is with us this day. Good morning. Good morning. I was so interested in reading all of the, the conversation talking points in this particular subject because we're in agricultural area and the fairs are going on and we all love to go visit the animal pens that are being judged. What do we need to be aware of? I think just some common sense. You know, we do talk about zoonotic disease, which is disease that's transferring from animals to humans and vice versa, humans back to animals. And I think you hit some of those, salmonella and some of the others. But the good news is everything we learned this past year is really applicable to keeping us safe at these, these fairs. So practice some good hygiene. After you're done petting the animals and, and interacting with them, wash your hands or use a hand sanitizer. Try not to rub your hands or, put your, or rub your eyes or put your hands in your mouth or anything like that. Make sure you're watching your children. We all want that cute photo of our, of our children with one of the animals. Um, just be aware of that and try not to eat or drink around the animals as well, uh, best that you can. Also be aware of if you're carrying any of the straw or any of the other material out with you that you get that cleaned up so you don't drag any of this with you. But, you know, I don't want people to be nervous. I think you hit it. These are great fairs. They're time to have fun. A lot of people that may not interact with these animals get to go there and learn about it, right. which I think is really important. It is important, and I, you know, just being mindful in this way. And I don't know that we had to even think about this, or at least we didn't think about it in the public so much, except the pandemic has raised our awareness about this. Exactly. I think that's exactly what it does. These zoonotic diseases have been around forever, and right. there are more that are emerging. But you want to know what? It, it's, not, not the, it's not the end of everything. It's just a matter of being able to adapt and do things that we were always taught to do anyhow, but enjoy it. Now, what are animals in danger of from humans? Well, a lot of these diseases can go back and forth, so animals can get E. coli from us. Um, there are other diseases that they can get as well. So um, we talk about even some of the influenzas can mutate within the species and we can transfer it back to them. So we want to be very careful with that. But again, just, just practicing common sense with it. Again, don't be afraid. Keep going out and enjoying life, especially now when we're starting to open up again. Well, I know one of the things that you suggested, which I would love for you to repeat here, is when you do get home, how should we treat our clothes if we've been through the barn area? The great news is usually if you take a lot of the visible debris off, it's, it's fine. And then go ahead and throw your coveralls or your, your clothes in the washer with some go roll family detergent, run it through, and you're going to be good to go. If you have um, any debris on your shoes or your boots, clean those up with a brush and soap and water and it's going to be good. I think a lot of people on the farms already knew this and for some of us that haven't grown up on farms or haven't been in those areas, don't realize that we can just carry some of that along with us and transfer it. And are you recommending masks as they go into these exhibits? I think you got to follow your local ordinances with it. You know, we're following CDC guidelines as far as coronavirus with masking up and things like that. If you're immunocompromised, I think that's something to talk about with your human physician. Um, as far as your pets go, make sure you're talking with your veterinary team and, and having all your bases covered. Thank you so much. Is there a website our viewers can uh, go to for more information? We have a ton of information at avma.org. Thank you, Dr. Kratt. Great to see you. Thank you. Have a great day. More local lifestyles right after this. Please stay with us.